everyone to abs class and coach Danny for class today we're going to be working intervals 30 seconds resting for 10 okay so let's go ahead and make our way to our mat we're going to activate our core just in case some of you are not here for full body block it's always important that we activate and engage our core and then we'll get started all right so bring it down to the floor a little bit of core bracing this is something that we should all be practicing on a regular basis. So think about we're just laying on the floor. You should kind of feel rib cage sticking out. Maybe a lot a natural arch in your low back here. I want you to think about pressing, press the rib cage down, and at the same time you're gonna pull those hips in. So now there is no space between your back and the floor. You've created kind of like a seal here. And we'll release that tension again. Pull the hips in, press that rib cage down. Hold three, two, one, and release. And again, one more time. Press down, pull the hips in. Hold three, two, one, and release. We're going to re-engage. So we'll do that bracing again, and we're going to pull those legs up to tabletop position. Okay. So I want you to take your right hand and you're going to reach across to your left knee. So right hand, left knee, press in against each other. Create as much tension as you can there. Offset arm, opposite leg. We're going to extend, reach one, two, three, two more, four, and five. Bring it back to center. Other side, left hand reaches to that right knee, reach across, then press into each other, create as much tension as you can. Opposite arm, opposite leg, extend. Low back is pressing into the ground. Two, three, four. Breathe in, extend, exhale, five. Nice work. All right, we're gonna turn it over Get comfortable in that pillar bridge, that low plank position. Palms are going to be up. Forearms are going to be on the ground. Shoulder width apart, shoulders over those elbows. Okay, pull that rib cage in right here while we're on our knees. Pull that rib cage in. Shoulders pull away from those ears. And we're going to step back into that pillar bridge, holding here. On this position, get really familiar with it. Kind of do a quick scan through your body. What do I feel? What is engaged? And own this position. We're gonna hold here a little bit longer. Think about pressing those heels back against towards the back of the room. Engage those glutes. Pull out rib cage in. Press forearms against the floor. Three. Two, one, drop down. All right. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more activated now. All right, we're gonna be working in groups of three. We have three movements, three rounds, working 30 seconds, resting for 10 in between each one. Movement one, sky reaches, two, Russian twists, and three, low plank, side to side, hip dip. So do a couple of these reps with me, isn't it? Extended part of your warm up. Legs are out straight in front of you. Arms are going overhead. We're going to practice that bracing. So pull hot rib cage down, hips in. I'll use that core. We're going to sit up, right? Slow on the return to the floor. Embrace that core. Sit up, legs stay straight, okay? Russian twist, two options. Keep those heels on the floor, lean slightly back, and we're moving side to side, nice and control. This does nothing for you, slow it down, reach all the way around, okay? If you want a little modification up, pick those feet up off the floor. And a little plank hip dips on your forearms, just like we just practiced. Low plank on that plank first, dip the hip to the side, and to the other side. So notice that this is not like a drop your hip, right? It's a very intentional rotation from the hip. I'm still moving through that hollow body position. 
I'm not just like hitting my hips to the floor. It's an intentional rotation over to one side, over to the other. Okay. So the best things in ab squats are done slowly and controlled. That's the point of this. Control the core, control the body. Okay, 30 seconds on, 10 off. Here we go. Starting with sky reaches. Let's go. Timer has started. Okay, if you start to feel this in your neck and shoulders, you might be pulling from your neck, which is what we don't want. Brace that core. Lift from the core. Nice job. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Russian twist. Sitting up tall, heels on the floor or off the floor, reaching all the way around. Let's go. Also, very slow and controlled. If you have a weight, a medicine ball, a small dog, or child, feel free to add that here. Insert into hands. 10 seconds, reaching all the way around, working those obliques. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo, and those hip flexors, hello. Feel mine. All right. Low plank, hip dips, intentional rotation, side to side. Three, two, one. Up in that pillow bridge, rotate side to side. If you feel like you're not you're still not able to control, modify down, hold that pillow bridge. So you're gonna hold here. You can take out that hip dip if you need to. Neutral neck, pull that chin in. And three, two, one, rest. Nice work. Back to the top. Sky reaches. Three, two, one. Belly button in. Press down. Sit up tall. Nice work, everyone. Remember, keep that core engaged. We're not pulling from the neck. We're using our abdominals to help us sit up all the way. Three, two, one, and rest. Russian twists are next. Remember, heels on the floor, sit up tall, or heels off the ground. Let's go. Leaning slightly back, but still maintaining good posture through the back. We don't want this rounded mess. Sit up tall. Side to side. Okay. We're not sitting at our desk. We're not rounded. Sit up tall. Honor that movement that we do at our desk. Five. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Alright. Plank hip dips. Remember, if you don't have enough control, hold that plank. And up. Very intentional rotation, side to side, maintaining a hollow body. And five, four, three, two, one, and rest. And back to the top. Sky reaches. Woo. Ten seconds go by. Hands face out for even a second. Use that core. Set up tall. Slow on the way down. One more. 
And fresh. Going side to stack. Here we go. Three, two, one. Sitting up tall. Slight lean back. Moving all the way around. Very slow and controlled. Nice work, everyone. Keep up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Ten more seconds. Fight through it. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Woo. All right. Plank hip dips. The last one for this circuit. Three, two, one, and up. Little plank, hold here, or add those hip dips. Side to side. And 
rest. Nice work. Last two. We're going to make these count. Superman cheese and a low plank. Three, two, one. Arms out to the side. Lift, squeeze. And now we're getting tired. We're almost there. Great job, everyone. All right, halfway. Really be intentional with this lift. Squeeze those shoulders down away from the ears. Squeeze those glutes as hard as you can. Press those feet together. Lift and squeeze. And come back. Relax. Whew. All right, rocking plank. Last 30 seconds. Let's do it together. Three, two, one, and up. Rocking back and forth. Palms are up. This just helps you create a little external rotation through the arm. Tuck that chin in. Rock back and forth. Neutral spine looks slightly out in front of you. We're almost there. 10 seconds. Hang in there. Three, two, one. Rest. Whew. Sit those hips back. Extend those arms out in front. And slowly roll it up. Nice work, everyone. Whew. You ever kind of get a little dizzy when you sit up fast? Okay. That lets me know it's lunchtime. I'm hungry. I need to refuel. So, make sure you're refueling.